Hey, hi you guys, Virgo. Welcome to your general forecast. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings meld together. Virgo, I'd like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes and the comments, they really help me out a lot. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Weight deck. One card from the Ask Your Guides Oracle deck. And a yes or no from this coin. Yes or no. I'll be spinning it right here at the end. So have your question ready. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Queen of Pentacles, Virgo. Earth energy. This is your card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You being in your own reading represents you're in control, in a position of power. This is a generous and benevolent person. It's female energy, but it can be a man or a female. They're domestic and pr practical and capable. They're orderly. They can be nurturing like a mother. They respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money they give you or loan you or distribute you. They may be offering help, offering security. They take time to consider all options before they proceed. They're focused. And they teach us that what is cherished must be cared for. Sometimes dependency upon routine can make them fearful of change. This can represent someone that may not be showing or saying how they feel. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Virgo. The Page of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This can be a message. Pages are trigger points. This is something that may come in quickly, but it is in a restriction position in your reading. Could be bringing in some challenges, so there's some indecision. This could be someone that cannot decide anything. They dislike anything complex. They could be seeking simplicity or... They might be feeling that they're weak about this communication, or they might be making over promises, you know, over promising, and then there's no follow through. The Queen of, of Pentacles with the Page of Wands is a welcome positive news. This is a nurturing mother type. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Virgo. Number 11 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Justice. This can be a Libra. Libra could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This has to do with balance, legal matters, karma, the justice system, weighing up options. It has to do with equity and rightness and the triumph of the deserving side in law. It's fair-minded treatment, well-ordered thoughts, fairness. It's time to weigh a situation's factors, to make a reasoned assessment, a judgment of the matter. It also tells us to use caution and prudence and be careful, and deliberate calmly and carefully before taking action. An instinctive honesty lies behind rational examination, and this is balancing intuition with logic. This can be a life-altering decision. This can also speak of the desire for education. Someone may be feeling weighed down. It's being concerned with external circumstances and waiting for the time to act. Someone may be seeking justice in personal or business affairs could even be a lawsuit. So it's important to resolve the situation in a way that's fair to all. So you must create a balance, not only of power, but in terms of your emotional reactions to the situation. 
So it's a time for moderation in all things and for creating harmony to facilitate the relationship. So always keep your promises because the truth will catch up to liars and cheaters. This is self-correction, integrity, equilibrium. It's seeking guidance from your inner self and not relying solely on other human advisors. So stand strong against things trying to throw you off balance. This is acting with integrity. The Queen of Pentacles with the Justice card is a work and home balance. It could be working from home, feeling weighed down with practical matters. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future, the outcome, the results, the prediction, the Five of Cups, Virgo, Water energy. This is Mars in Scorpio. This is brooding, regret, and a transition. It's a loss and a disappointment. Now the Mars in Scorpio is like the Tower in Death. The lower echo of the Tower in Death. And it reminds us that whatever you really strongly desire, it can be yours. But you have to turn around and face what is better for you. Those three cups are empty promises that are spilled over. It's saddening, sadness and mourning and suffering. It's an emotional adjustment. And that's the bridge over troubled waters. And you will get over it. It's change and opportunity and not running away from your feelings. It's the start of a new phase in, phase in life. So use your courage and determination and you can find your way out. The Queen of Pentacles with the Five of Cups is a need to fix what is broken. You might change your view and look at what is good. Your fifth card, the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Virgo. Number 21 of the Major Arcana, the world. This is an Earth Energy card. This could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, or Capricorn is your chart. This could be the end of something. It's... Four corners represent the four fixed signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. They're also the elemental figures. The four corners in perfect balance, mastery. They're the guides that lead us from one phase to the next. And a cycle is completing. This is a major life change and coming full circle. Now you'll be feeling more accomplished and be more experienced and there's growth into a new level. And success is coming. This can also represent the worldwide internet. Travel. Someone distant or being distant. It can also be a change of residence. It's an elevation in life. And the fulfillment of one's hopes and dreams and achievements. And there's support by unseen forces. A move or a new relationship will prosper. It's completion, reward, and success, and triumph, and the path of liberation. You'll be dancing for joy. The Queen of Pentacles with the World Card is doing everything you can to reach completion. This is completing and beginning a new cycle. Could be completing things around the home. The Page of Wands with the Justice card is communication that balances out or that you need to balance for justice. It's searching for justice and communicating that. Someone may contact you that you need to meet. The Page of Wands with the Five of Cups is a message that brought regret and loss. Could have been about something broken. The Page of Wands with the World Card is a communication, it's travel, it could be worldwide or long distance. It could be a message over what could be career connected, 
you may be beckoned to take bold steps. Justice with the Five of car Cups is having regrets and feeling bad about something that happened in the past and trying to make it right again. Justice with the World card is cause and effect, completion, truth and clarity and fulfillment. This is a person who can build or start projects. The Five of Cups with the World card is a challenging life lesson. Here's your Oracle card from the deck by Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. Card number 42, Intuition, from your inner child, Virgo. Card number 42, Intuition, from your inner child. Instinct, invention, trust, and impulses. The door to your inner child is opening, and he or she is walking through, bringing you the gift of intuition. You may not be entirely comfortable with this newfound source of insight and may not know exactly what to do with it. However, don't toss it aside or try to analyze it to death. Instead, accept this gift and play with it. Now, I just did say something to you guys about listening to your own inner self. That's your intuition. And apply your intuition to non-threatening situations and learn how it works. Do not try to control it because you can't. It's exciting and powerful and it's to be respected and followed, not tamed. Trust your inner child's willingness to share its magic so that you may benefit. The message for you is, trust me. Okay, have your question ready because here is your coin that has the yes or no on it. And I'm going to be spinning it right now. Yes or no, Virgo. Yes or no? No. The answer is no. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.